Hey y'all, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I come on here in a minute to introduce myself. I just kind of got caught up with the, um, I don't know, cinematography of doing a bunch of little things before you come on and introduce yourself and I ended up doing a ton of little things before I came on and introduced myself. You know me. It can never be normal. Cameron says hi. It can never be normal. So, we just spend the day, a day kind of like a day date between me and Shane. It's really cool. It's really fun. He was a, He's a blast to hang out as always. So, I thought I'd bring you guys along with this. I've had a ton of people ask me about my bulletproof coffee recipe. Honestly, I don't make it whenever I'm going somewhere because it will give you the Hershey squirts. So on days that I'm home, I just do some MCT oil, some grass fed butter, some heavy whipping cream, um, some pink Himalayan salt with my regular Dunkin' brewed coffee and some sugar free, sometimes some sugar free creamer. I don't know, that heavy whipping cream, it really like milks it up. So I, sometimes I put extra creamer in it, sometimes I don't. It depends on if I want coffee milk or not. If I want coffee milk, then I do. <laughs> Were you baby talking to Banks? I was baby talking to the flies. Uh huh. So we're gonna put that I'm get the, uh, back of in the back of the truck. Cause that's gonna be my coffee bar. Sonic. Hey every YouTuber, nice to see you. Camera. <laughs> you little dude! I don't know how you pick, pick it up. Oh. Oh, it, oh wait, it, do you it, want to turn off the video? I'll be right back, baby. Okay. There's chocolate milk in there if you want it. Well, right now, that's a nice camera. Before me? Yeah, right here? Yeah. On your things? Yeah. How's that? That way? As a film instructor. <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be better catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts. When it starts. He thinks. That that is gonna hold that. That those little bitty bungee cords are gonna hold that. Yeah, thank you. Do this. Don't need this. Thank you. He's blowing at me. Well, I forgot to do an introduction. Hey, what's, what's up? up there? Well, hi there. Hi hey, there. 
Hey, what's up? My name is Marina. Hey, what's up? My name is. If my you're name new here. Is, my name is Marina. So I forgot to do an introduction before I showed you guys all that footage. So if you're new here, you're probably really confused. Um, you came confused, you'll probably leave confused. <laughs> you might stay confused. <laughs> We're doing a day in the life. Why does my camera always want to overexpose? Why don't you ever call it a life in the day? Life? We're doing a life in the day? We're doing a life in the day, eh? Um, just taking y'all with us to, as we spend our Saturday. Guess where we're going? Uh, my regulars will know. Pause right now, guys, and comment where you think we're going on a Saturday. If you said McKay's Bookstore, then yep, you got it. I go, we go there like every weekend, I feel like. Every time we go, I vlog. So it, that's why I guess why it feels like a lot. But we're headed there and we're also going to go to TJ Maxx because... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, ain't no one said told him that yet. I hadn't told you that yet, but it's true. Um, I'm wanting to find Binks another toy, and that's where I get all his toys, because why is it doing this? Um, uh, that's where I find Binks his toys, because he's rough on toys, and those toys are super cheap. And and you get different toys there. Like, right now, his favorite toy is his Aussie. It's like a little Aussie that you get at the gas station, and it has like a squeaker in it, and a little thing on top, and a shiny top. He's about to that thing to shreds, so he's, he's been a really good boy. Too. Yeah, his reindeer that he's had since Christmas, he's chewed it up. They don't have no ears no more. So we need to get him some toys. I want to get a couple of different ones just to keep him occupied because that way when, when he has toys, that's why he has a little toy chest in the kitchen. When he has toys, he leaves the kids' toys alone. So we always want to make sure he has ample amount of toys. Is that the right word? Did I use that ample. right? What? Look at me, Rosetta Stone. We're just going to bring y'all along with us. I also, as you've seen, got my my coffee bar back there that we're going to drop off by the house on the way to the big store. The big store is in Knoxville, so it's a bit of a drive for us. First stop before we drop this off is I haven't eaten anything, and it's 1 o'clock. Yep, so we're going to stop and get her a pack of peanuts. So when I was a kid, my mom taught me this song, and okay, first of all, there's two songs. There's two songs. First of all, there's two songs. One of them is there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom sea. There's a chicken on the hair, hair on the water, frog frog and not no log log in the hole, hole in the bottom sea. There's a chicken on the hair, hair on the water, water frog frog and not no log log in the hole, hole in the bottom sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom sea. Then there's found a peanut, found a peanut, found a peanut just now. Just now I found a peanut, found a peanut just now. Cracked it open, cracked it open, cracked it open just now. Just now I cracked it open, cracked it open just now. He ended up cracking open the peanut. It was raw and I'm going to save you guys a headache. Spoiler alert. Listen. Spoiler alert. It was, oh look how pretty that house is. Can y'all see? Oh man, you can't oh, see. That's a gorgeous place. house. Oh look at that barn, how pretty. Um, but spoiler alert, he cracked it open, he ate it, he knew it was rotten, he ate it anyway, he got sick, he called the doctor, the doctor told him he wouldn't die, but then he did die, he went to heaven, then he said the dirty word, went the other way, and then he got a job, the devil gave him a job, cracking peanuts. <laughs> Man, Moral of the story is don't eat a rotten peanut. Anyways, we have we get on that subject. The fact that you made it to heaven at all, and then you yeah, you made it to heaven, and then you pull that jump. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, we're gonna go get something to eat, and then we're gonna drop this off at the house, and then we're gonna head off to Knoxville. And who knows? Who? Our, our day in the lives. I always have a schedule, and I always tell y'all we're doing stuff. And but it then you up, forget you're married to me. me. I forget that he's very. Um, what's the word? Uh, adventurous. Damn. I like Whoa, well, there's story. train tracks. Are you trying to Let's hop jump on? Them. Okay, we're going to get something to eat.
couple hours from Japan Would you stay awake? I'm losing touch said to myself in there I'm gonna walk in here and he's gonna be in the floor in some stupid position acting like he's fell <laughs> I walk in and find this like I've been married to you too long I know exactly what you're gonna do Shane get up. you're wasting time get up. Do, do, do. Watch him. I'm gonna come touch his side and he's gonna lose it because he can't stand for me to touch his side. Yeah! <laughs> we got it in here, son. Now let's go. Ready? There is no way to. Let's go. There's that, a way. That was me. I maneuvered it. You. Yeah, it was all you. You that messed up my vinyl flooring. One thing you messed up <laughs> your pants. You're mean. <laughs> <laughs> You're mean. I'm leaving that in there so people can see how mean you are. <sighs> Skateboard on that like he used to back in the day. He used to be a skateboarder back in the day when I met him. That's what attracted me to him. He was First. he was still in street signs and riding skateboards. Let me show you this real quick. This is called. Okay. This is called a mover's ollie. Are you okay. ready? A mover's ollie. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let, me long, let me get long. Let me get long. Let me get this. Okay. Hold on. Point is, you gotta get your heel. Okay. On right here. Get your toe right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down with this while bringing this toe up, and you're gonna bring the whole thing. Ha! I'm 33. I don't do that no more. Don't try it. <laughs> don't try it. There it is. <laughs> Stupid. No, like you, my first one is in the VHS case. What these is it? Are hard to what find. is this it? Is Stranger Things season two in oh. the VHS case? Oh, like these are pretty hard to find, and it's Blu-ray. Yes. Those are all my books. But I want you close.
elevator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Shane, they're gonna actually. I think they called for mice. <laughs> Look at that. Are you gonna Look at the Yu Gi Oh card, though. <laughs> Somebody set their trap card to win. If I had baby babies, Shane, if we had babies, we could utilize the heck out of these. Something I didn't do as a young mom, but would totally do now. You know it. Right. Right. <gasps> I just stepped in a puddle. Oh my God. What? Oh, oh, Shane. <gasps> you freaking turd nugget. Oh my, oh my gosh. It sucks being short. I'm gonna so, ride home uh, without pants. Wait, what? I tried to splash in here. <laughs> take that, take that, Mr. Tollman. Take that, what is that? Oh. Wait, where are we walking? <laughs> where are you walking, Shane? Where are you walking? <laughs> Literally look at my I'm soaked. And it is all your fault. You jumped into those paddles. I'll be dang. I'll be dang if I take the advice from a woman with the unwashed butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're leaving TJ Max. We found Bing's two toys, but I didn't find them any clothes. And bless his heart, he has been wearing that Christmas sweater all summer long. So we're gonna go over he here to Ross and try to find him a t-shirt. He has two t-shirts. One of them was like, it has a pizza on it. Y'all probably, if you're a somebody, long time subscriber, you've seen him in that one. That. But Ross is right over here and I'm filming on my phone cause it's pouring down rain and I'm not about to get my camera out and take it, no, through the rain. What I'm not about, gonna do what that. About so Katie's closet? hopefully I can get this footage exported. That's a lot of July 4th. Are you not interrupting me? Oh, thankfully the Ross does not look as busy as the TJ Maxx Why is it was. Creepy, is it? I don't know. It does look pretty creepy, don't it? It looks sketchy. My Ross back sketchy. home doesn't look okay. Well, I said it wasn't as, but it looks kind of full. Also, um, found some things for my coffee bar that I didn't show you guys because I wanted to be a surprise when I show y'all. Oh. And Shane, help me. No. All right, let's go run through the rain. Is Not you racing you. You're loser is an, is Oh my gosh, it's raining egg. so hard. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to put my phone up until I get into Wait, the store. you want me to take you up front, drop you off, and then no, I'll come? No, but that's so sweet. I don't care. No, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna turn my phone off, and then I'll turn it back on, maybe in Ross. <laughs> You're soaking wet. It's freezing in here. <laughs> Would that be him though? Yeah, that would fit him in a heartbeat. What else they got? <clears throat> we got a New York sweater. That's but I think too that's big too for big. him. Yeah. Oh, wait, this. Oh, oh American, American Pup. Pup. But we don't drink, so. Well, he does. Thanks to not drink. Look, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Superman, but that's too big. Oh, it is hot in here. Yes. I'm sweating. Shane's <sighs> being weird. This you is what I had weird. to deal with. You stop being weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Did you poop yourself? <laughs> no. Did you
Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. I got this cute, look at this floral broom. I'm in love with it, and it was only $5.99. I love it. Look how pretty. Look. Never had, like, a pattern broom before. And then this, I was going to not show you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. And then um, you'll see how I decorate the space with it. I got this coffee container. There's the lid opens. I love it. I love it. Wait, there's more. I got this little sugar bin. This sugar container is it has a lid that goes with it. But it also has a spoon. Look at that little spoon. Look how stinking cute that is. I'm so excited to put that on the coffee bar. And then in this bag, in this bag is Binks' stuff. So we got him this little duck because it has his favorite little crinkle things in the wings. <laughs> and it also squeaks. Oh, he hears it in there. Um, we got this for $3.99, so not bad. I didn't want to pay a lot of money for for toys that he's just going to chew up. I got this ice cream. I don't think it, yeah, it does have a squeak, but it also feels like memory foam. And we got it for $2.99. And then I found these. I was going to order them online, but I knew that I could find them in TJ Maxx if I could get to TJ Maxx. My TJ Maxx sucks, <laughs> but Knoxville's was good, so I got a vanilla caramel cream one. I got the butter toffee one and the pumpkin caramel scone one. Got those three. They also had a three pack of fall flavors um, and I almost got it. It was only $6.99 but I, I decided to get it. And from Ross, I'll show you what we got at Ross and then um, I'm going to go give Banks his toys and I'll come back and I'll show you what kind of books I got. Um, at Ross, we got this taco. Um, it also has some crinklies in it and has a squeaky, a squeaky in it too. And we got it for $2.99. I have to say Ross was better priced when it comes to dog toys. Um, oh. And then Shane found this at Ross. It has like, look how cute. I thought that was adorable for $4.99. That's all we got at Ross. Right, Shane? Yeah. And then I'll show you the books I got at Ollie's and McKay's in a second. I'm going to give Banks his toys real quick. Okay, let's see what toy Binks likes better. All right, there's the ice cream. What do you think about that one, Binks? You like it? Okay, wait, wait, wait. what about the bird? What you thinking? Okay, is it? What about the taco? Which one you like? You go get a toy. Go get a toy. Your toy. I didn't get you no clothes. <laughs> Which toy you like? Huh? Which toy you like, Banksy? <laughs> you trash can. Good <laughs> <laughs> <Get> boy. <laughs> What you got? Uh oh, I got it! I got Neil! I got, I got it! I got it! I got it! Go get it! 
Gosh, cream. It's the best ice cream in the world. You like that ice cream or not? Where's the squeaker? Where's the squeaker? I know it squeaks. You're the squeaker. <laughs> That was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You wanna get it, Binks? Let's see what he thinks about the... <laughs> All right, let me go show you what books I got. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you every detail about these books because I don't wanna bore y'all to tears, but I am gonna show them to you that way if you see something that you like the cover of or that you wanna read with me. I do have a good read box. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I don't know how to work it. I have no idea how to work it. I don't know how to accept friends. I have friends on there, and it says I'm following one person, but I'm not, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> so, you can follow me on Goodreads. Um, <clears throat> I think it's linked down below. It's fearfully created over there, but I think I, I finally figured out how to get the link and linked it down below to see what I'm currently reading. And I also have a highlight reel on my Instagram um, that tells you what I'm currently reading and everything I've read up until now. So I got this, the Luke's, somebody's going to tell me the right way to say that on there. This book is, think, think Gossip Girl, um, think Big Frilly Dresses, Debutantes, kind of like that kind of thing. There we go, I fixed it. Kind of like that kind of thing. Um, think that. It's just a bunch of, uh, like drama and stuff. I already have this one. I'll actually show it to you. Hold on. This right here is the same book. Right here. See that frilly dress? It's just that. <clears throat> the author updated the covers. So I have two of them that are these. I haven't read them yet. But I got two of them with these covers that I found at McKay's a long time ago. And I read the back of it. It sounded interesting. And it had the first and second one. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And this is the new um, updated cover. Which, honestly, I prefer that one. But, I mean, everybody's raving about this one on Goodreads and on the internet. So, I mean, it's it's cool, though. But it's by Anna Go Godberson. Godberson? I almost said Gooberson. <laughs> And I got this for $1.99, um, which I think on Amazon it's like 10 bucks for paperback. So I got that at Ollie's. <clears throat> and I got one other book at Ollie's. And that's The Girl You Left Behind by Jojo Moyes. She's the one who, I think she did like the, the wedding date or something like that. I can't remember. She's a well-known author. And I got this one for $2.99, which is not bad. I know that this one's based in 1916 in France. It's based in 1916 in France, and it's a dual love story. So, um, that one sounded interesting. I like historical romance and historical fiction. And then, that's all I got at Ollie's Bookwise. McKay's, I made out like a bandit because Shane took a bunch of stuff. We never pay any money. Um, like, we never go to McKay's just to spend money. We always go to get trade credit and spend trade credit. We kind of just, like, rotate our stuff there. Shane took a ton of his stuff, and we got, like, $200 in trade credit. So, he got me a ton of books. A bunch of that of them were on my already-to-be-read list on my Goodreads. I only saw a few that I read the backs of in the store, and I was like, ooh, that sounds good. But I've been wanting to read Gone Girl. It's been on my TBR, my to be read list for forever, and I found this for two dollars. This thing's expensive on Amazon. I felt the hardback for two dollars, so I was pretty excited about it. This is a like suspense, has to do with like a suspenseful marriage. I don't know much about it. I don't like to know a lot about thrillers before I read them because I'm someone who tries to figure out the plot twist 
like throughout the whole book. It's really hard to stop me when it comes to reading because I read so much and I know to expect plot twists. I got this one from McKay's and this is another one that's been on my to be read list and it's The Woman in the Window. I got it for $7 which is, is a good price considering the hardback on Amazon is much more expensive. I've been seeing this one for a couple years I think and I've been wanting to read it and I finally was like you know what I'm just going to jump on into it. Did I read it right now? I think I've read 16 books this year so that's pretty good. I mean given the amount of time I have to read which is barely any that's pretty good. So the basis of this and all that I want to know about it, about it is, is basically, basically this person is experiencing paranoia and she don't think it's paranoia. So basically, um, it's not paranoia, paranoia if it's real. So paranoia, paranoia, it's not paranoia if it's real. That's the whole basis of this. So that sounds super intriguing. These are both adult books. I do go in between young adult um as long as it's not 16 year old in school kind of thing because I'm, I'm 29 i can't relate to that anymore i used to love it um and now don't get me wrong i could still read the heck out of twilight and the luck series and all those series before but as for reading anything new to do with 16 year old or anything like that i just i can't relate but where i am in the middle of i'm not you know i'm not I'm not to the point where I'm going to read mass paperback love stories, if that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, I go in between young adult, new adult, and adult. <clears throat> this one is the second book to a book that I found um, at McKay's a while back. It's Illuminate. I uh, don't know much about it. I know it's a girl who works at a tavern or something, and things are not what they seem. So, I haven't read the first one, but I saw this one, and it was... I think I spent two bucks on it, so it was pretty cheap. So I went ahead and got it. And then I got the Magnolia League. And this is about debutantes and like weird things happening in the city. But I will say I got in the car and I was reading it to Shane and I was like, ooh, I did not see that. It says magic changes everything. I don't do witchcraft stuff. I don't. I don't do coven stuff. I used to love reading about witches and stuff like that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no, sir. I'm going to have to dig into that and see, like, the synopsis and see if it's about what I think it is. Um, honestly, the fact that it has magic on it makes me just want to um, trash it. I don't even donate books that say that anymore. I just trash it. Y'all, I will tell you upon further inspection, it definitely had some voodoo witchcraft stuff in it. So my copy went in the trash and went out to the trash can. I actually had told Lacey about it and she started reading it and she texted me. She's like, nope, Marina, it has voodoo stuff in it. So we both trashed our copies and that's where, that's as far as that went. <laughs> it'll, it, if it's what I think it is, it'll be worth the loss of three bucks. Um, three dollars in trade credit. So we'll see. I'll I'll let you guys know what I find out about that. Then I found this one. Then she was gone. I got this one for two bucks, I believe. This one is one that intrigues me because it is about a woman who loses her daughter, and like ten, it's ten years later. She's trying to put the pieces of her life back together. She meets this man. She ends up like getting to know him. She ends up meeting his kids, and one of his kids is a spitting image of the daughter that she lost. It's, it sounds really good. Then I found this, which I was so excited about. Red, the Red Siren, okay. This is by my most favorite author of all time, which is Mary Lou Tyndall, also M.L. Tyndall. She is a Christian fiction um, author and my favorite trilogy of all time. Y'all ask me, Marina, if there's one book you could tell me to read, what would it be? It wouldn't be a book, it would be a trilogy, and it would be the Escape to Paradise trilogy by Marie Lou Tyndall. Um, it is absolutely, I love it. It's three books. I got the three books in one big book, and I literally read it within like three days. Um, gosh, years ago, but I'm about to read it again, so if any of y'all want to read that with me, y'all are more than welcome to read it with me. This one's just about a female pirate she's normal by day a pirate by night and she meets a godly man and um that's what i love about her books is they're all you don't have to worry about like um anything you know weird in her books i mean it, they are weird they deal with like pirates and like escape to paradise dealt with some stuff but it doesn't go over the top like some books that i have then i found wake by amanda hawking 
I'm not sure about this one. I don't know much about it. I just know it's a girl in a town and three other girls scout her out. And it's supposed to not go too good for her or something like that. Then, oh, I found Cammie a little Archie book. He loves the little Archie comics. <clears throat> we try to get him one every time we go. And then you guys know, I just read the Lux series. I finished it, actually. I just finished the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This book is a spinoff. It's the book one in a spinoff series. It's, so it's in the Lux world. It's in the world with the Luxon and the um, Aram and the Origins and stuff like that. But it's not following Damon and Katie, if I'm not mistaken. It's about the Origins, which are the hybrids or whatever. So, <clears throat> I found that, which was surprising because I wasn't expecting to find that. I had that in my Amazon cart. Um, and then, the last three books I got are three books by Marie Lou Tyndall and... They're The Reliance, The Restitution, and The Redemption. And this is about a girl who sets off on a voyage to find a father, her father that she never knew. So, those are what Shane got me with a straight credit. <laughs> you want to show them what you got? Sure. They'll yeah. want to see what you got. Yeah. Got me a couple of Avengers graphic novels, because I'm a nerd. <laughs> Uh, got me some DVDs. I got me Stranger Things season two. Show them that. Show them what it looks like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is pretty cool. So, the whole thing is event or Avengers. Stranger Things takes place during the '80s, so they try to get all nostalgic and everything. So the case looks like an old VHS case, and then when you open it, it looks like a VHS. <laughs> and then you open it, and there's the DVDs, and they also have Blu-ray option. Oh, I didn't see hopper back there. That's cool. So yeah, I got me that. I got Cowboy Bebop, the series, one of my most favorite animated series of all time. I actually found a few of the Netflix Marvel shows, Daredevil, Jessica Jones. <laughs> the excitement Luke on Cage. your face is too cute right now. I got the original Batman. I haven't watched Batman or Batman Returns in years. I've got the Spider-Man trilogy, but they're full screen so they look like dirt on our big TV and so these are widescreen so I'm actually going to take these discs and put them in my original cases and then that way I can watch them in high definition and then I got some orchestrations of some video game music so yeah, that's what I got he's so stinking cute I'm going to go put on some jammies the kiddos will be home soon, so I want to put on some jammies, and I'm going to just chill out and probably read for a little bit until they get here, and then tomorrow, I got to hit it wide open and clean the whole house. Wide open spaces. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a whole house clean with me tomorrow, so thank y'all for hanging out with me. I love you guys. Um, I'm grateful to have you because I'll tell you, I told you Instagram already, but today was, it was hard. I had some major social anxiety. McKay's was packed. We were packed like sardines in that place. I didn't vlog. I didn't film as much as I wanted to because I was like having extreme heart palpitations. And I say that to tell you guys, just because I look joyful and happy all the time on here, it doesn't mean that I don't ha I don't experience rough patches and that I don't have bad days. Um, I I want to always be authentic. That's my thing, right? No matter what, like, I want to remain authentic to who I am and, you know, to real life. Because I think that's what makes me relatable is, I, you know, real life. So, I had an off day today. But, you know what? I reminded myself, I, I, I wish I could say that I fixed it in the store. And I, I was like, you know what? I'm ready to stop it. And I went throughout the store and I was fine. But I had to go outside to the truck. And I was sitting there, and I was like, Marina, where does your joy come from? Does it come from feelings? Is it based off emotion? Is it based off circumstance? And sitting there, I realized, like, it's not. The joy of the Lord, it is my strength, and that sounds cliche, but my joy isn't based on the fact of how I'm feeling right now. It's based on the fact that he's still on the throne. So, know that I am 
just like you i struggle just like you these other youtubers you watch and you some maybe you idolize them maybe you look up to them maybe you think they have the perfect life they're just like us and you know all we can do is be who we are be real in the fact that we can be who we are unapologetically and just <clears throat> enjoy living life the good the bad the ugly the sad the happy the mad just enjoy life and the dog <laughs> so i hope y'all have a blessed morning and night, whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus he loves you more i'll see y'all tomorrow